me and Brock didn't get along well. Right. Uh, he used to come. Right. He used to come over to my house all the time. He uh, watch pay per views. Every time he ever came over, the girlfriend he had at the time, I would hug her, give her a kiss on the cheek. She'd do the same. Well, we do a show with the boys and, and uh, the boys and girls club. Were you? You probably were not here when Sylvester Turkey was here, were you? No, sir. Sly Turkey was here. The show's over. We did it in a boys club. I was wearing a silk preacher style shirt that had the preacher collar. It's got to be 115 degrees. I'm soaked in fucking sweat. I'm not, I'm not to the 400 pound yet mark yet, but I guarantee I'm, I'm 330 if I'm an ounce. His girlfriend comes over and wants to hug me after the show's over because well, we were good friends. They were over at the house all the time. Uh, Brock would go deer hunting on my brother's property out in Henry County. We were good friends. And, uh, but as you know, Brock has a, a little situation with rage from time to time. And this was apparently one of those nights. So as I'm getting ready to leave the building, Brock's girlfriend approaches me and she wants to give me a hug. And I said, no, honey, I'm soaked in sweat. Please don't touch me. So I did the old Hollywood thing to where I put my arms out. Mwah, mwah, never touched her. I didn't get within three feet of her. I said, when I'm not soaked in sweat, I said, I'll be more than happy to take one of your kisses now. Brock walks through the door. He it's uh, and because of seven, do you know why you guys had to break down the ring and, and faces and heels had to rotate breaking down the ring and setting up? Do you know why you guys had to do that? Even the WWE guys, because seven, 30. yeah, seven thought he was too fucking good to be of any help, and he started a bunch of shit in Memphis, and then word got out about it, and they said, "Well, fuck you." Now all of you have to work on the ring crew because seven didn't have the clout a lot of you had. And they said, all of you got to work on the ring crew and uh, the heels are set up, faces a breakdown. And then the next night it's reverse. And yeah. because of him, I think till the days the contract ended, WWE stars had to be on the, on the uh, ring crew. And yeah. that was because of seven. He started wow. some shit, thought he was a big fucking deal and fucked it up for everybody. And yeah. um, so, but Brock walks in and sees that I have, he, it, to his perception, it looked like I was kissing his girlfriend. I'd kissed her a hundred times anyway. And she'd done the same with me when they'd come over to my house and watch pay-per-views and have barbecue or chili dogs or whoever I could get to sponsor the pay-per-view deal. You remember it was the house that you uh, came to when I picked you up the airport. You, you stayed with me for a couple of days, a few days yeah. Uh, yeah. until you got your own place. Uh, I think we set you up in that hotel uh, where a lot of the boys stayed, Mark Henry, various others. Yeah. And, um, so Brock was over at that house all the time. So he, he says, get your hands off my, off my girl or whatever he called me. Uh, so I thought he was working the crowd that was outside. I said, hey, no problem here, brother. I said, no, no, I'm not going to touch her. You the man. And I back away. He says, don't you ever touch her, you motherfucker. And I'm looking at him and I see he's fucking furious. I mean, I can see it in his eyes. I said, Brock, I never touched her. He says, don't you ever fucking touch her again, you piece of shit. And I'm looking at him, what the, where the fuck's this coming from? I said, Brock, I told you, I never touched her. And uh, she looks over and she says, Brock, he didn't touch me. He's sweaty and he didn't want to get me wet. You shut up, bitch. You know better. That's what Brock told his girlfriend. Wow. And now he's getting up in my face. He says, you ever even come close to her again, you motherfucker, I'll knock you out. So I still think, is he trying to work everybody? What's he fucking doing? I said, Brock, calm down, man. I said, I didn't fucking touch her. You just heard her. And then he pie faces me. And I did not go down, and that made him even matter. Chris runs to the locker room because Chris, Chris is seeing the whole thing. He knows that goddamn well I ain't with Brock Lesnar. He runs to the locker room and gets Sly Turkey. He says, Dad, he says, Dad's got a beef going on with Brock. Brock just pie faced Dad. Dad didn't go down. Brock's free. Bear, Bear, get up here. So Bear comes running. He's, he's doing a run in on a fucking breakdown of the ring crew. Here comes Turkey. Uh, Brock, I don't know what your problem is, but if you want to fight somebody, why don't you fight somebody your size, man? I don't know what your and Bowen's beef is, but you can take it up with me. Brock turned and walked away. Now, I we have talked about that. I don't know if that would happen that way today, but on that day, Brock backed down to bear. So he walks out. Well, all the boys are calling Jimmy to say, hey, Brock put, fucking put his hands on Bowen. Bowen apologized, said he never touched his wife, his, his, when his wife, his girlfriend. His girlfriend said that, uh, I, I did, that, that I didn't touch her. And he pie-faced him anyway. So I get home, phone rings, Cornette. Kenny, he said, what happened at the boys' club? And I said, what have you heard? He said, I hear Brock put his fucking hands on you. I said, yeah, he did. He said, what did he do? I said, he, he pie-faced me. He said, did you go down? I said, no. He said, well, that's what made him mad. I said, yeah, I guess. <laughs> he says, uh, that's bullshit. 
I said, yeah, I agree. I said, I, I didn't, I said, why did he do that? I said, he thought I kissed his girlfriend. Who gives a fuck? Everybody's kissed his goddamn girlfriend. I said, well, he, I, I, Jimmy, I never touched her. I said, I was soaked in sweat. I didn't want her to touch me. I said, so I just gave her the Hollywood kiss. My, I, my hands never touched her. I said, plus I've kissed her a hundred times over here in my own fucking house. He never said a word. He says, give me a minute. So Jimmy calls Jim Ross. Ross says, you, uh, Ross says, you let Lesnar know he's in deep fucking shit. So Jimmy calls Lesnar. He says, I've just talked to Jim Ross. He says, motherfucker, you're in deep shit. You do not put your hands on anybody in the fucking office. You've got a beef with one of the boys. That might be one thing. Kenny's office. You don't fucking touch Kenny. I never knew I was in the office until that day. <laughs> First I'd heard about it. I, I sell the banners and set up the personal appearances. I guess technically in Jimmy's view, that made me office. So you don't touch office. And I'd never even heard that phrase before. So the next time uh, the phone lights up, it's Brock Lesnar's cell phone. I'd seen it before. He'd call and set up visits, come over and watch pay-per-view, bring his wife or girlfriend, shit like that. I answer the phone. I said, hello. He says, Kenny. I said, yep. This is Brock Lesnar. I said, uh-huh. I, I know who it is. Uh, Kenny, um, I just gave you a call to let you know, to tell you that I'm sorry. And I apologize. And I said, what are you apologizing for? For putting my hands on you, I said, I just wanted to make sure that I was clear on what you were apologizing for. And he said, yep, um, I, I was wrong. I shouldn't have put my hands on you. And, uh, and I had to talk with Jimmy, and I was told it'd be a good idea. I call and apologize. I said, all right, Brock, I appreciate that. He says, but don't ever touch my girlfriend again. I said, okay, Brock. So I made a point right then and there that I was never going to fucking speak to Brock again. I called Jimmy. I said, he says, did he call you? I said, he did. He said, did he apologize? I said, he did. He said, did it go well? I said, well, he reminded me at the end of the call never to touch his fucking girlfriend again. He said he had to get his fucking shit in, didn't he? I said, I guess so. So Jimmy aired him out. He says, I told you to call and apologize. He said, Bolin never touched your girlfriend. Your girlfriend told you you didn't touch her. You had to get your soul. I think he suspended Brock for like two weeks, made him do some free personal appearances. And <laughs>